Yes. <laughs> now, this is the world production of oil and gas. <laughs> Figures to the year 2000 are historical data? Yes. <laughs> you see how it goes way up here? Yes. <laughs> and then they have these dotted uh, lines, and these are the actual amount of usage to the year 2000? Yes. Yeah. Now, this is the pro the projected peak in natural gas production occurs in 2030. <laughs> Do you know what year it is? <laughs> 2019. <laughs> now, for some reason, right, you're just not listening. <laughs> um, you, you, you're frustrated no one's listening to you. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, primary energy, coal, oil, gas, and nuclear heat. Yes. Delivered uh, energy by fuel, yes, solid, liquid, gas, and electricity, oh, <laughs> by sector, domestic services, transport, industry, yeah. and then by end use, space and water, heating, heating, cooking, lights, and appliances. <laughs> now, I, I'm a, I, I, I really don't understand why you have a reluctance to enforce the laws. <laughs> now, um, when just looking at this, yes. Mm -hmm. It looks to me like there's going to be some sort of energy problem in the next 10 years. <laughs> now, here's a really good idea. Uh, the pumped solar water heater. Oh, the sun heats this up. Yes. <laughs> you put some water through it. Yes. You got a pump and a controller and temperature and all this other bullshit that you have. <laughs> this is the best we had in the year 2000. Is that right? <laughs> The rooftop solar water heater. <laughs> now, I did look at these <laughs> when I designed my house in Squim, Washington. Yeah. <laughs> How about the thermo siphon solar water heater? Frost free climates where it's safe to mount the storage tank outdoors, a simple thermo siphon. <laughs> now, there's no way that anything I've said to you in the last few weeks <laughs> has in some way influenced you that using hot air could. could <laughs> Oh, heat loss mechanisms. <laughs> How heat escapes from the double glass window. Oh. Now look at this. Heat flow inside, outside. Yes. Convection takes place. Oh, <laughs> And you have that right there. <laughs> you know, I redesigned the window. <laughs> it has a certain gas in it. Yes. <laughs> that if you allow the electricity of the home wiring system <laughs> to go through the gas, the gas itself will heat up to 65 degrees. <laughs> Did you know that you can heat most of your house using one of my windows? <laughs> I know you said that there was no warmth in the actual electricity that is supplied to the house that powers your very supply of things. <laughs> See, the thought was, let's say there's some wiring in your house, right? And you have some outlets and you plug a light in and you thought you, you get electric shock if you touch it. <laughs> but they insulate it for a reason. It, it is actually warm. <laughs> now, I don't know the actual temperature of the electricity in your house, yeah, but it does emanate a certain warmth. <laughs> if you allow the electricity to go through these two panes with my gas and my recycled uh, <laughs> glass, <laughs> the window itself will heat up to 65 degrees. Oh, did you know you can use use the warmth from the electricity without having to use the electricity as a part of the <laughs> you think I'm lying don't you I can prove it just if you ever tried to actually hold electricity it has a warm you know when you think of <laughs> It is not cold. I don't care what you say. The electricity. <laughs>